Hey everybody, Ken Deer Gaming, back with episode 2 of Inscription. Uh, if you missed the first one, I'll leave a card right here so you can go watch it. Uh, it's just a couple videos ago, played it pretty recently. And this is part 2, where we are about to do the Prospector boss fight. And this is as far as I've seen the game. After this Prospector boss fight, I have no idea what happens, because that's as far as the demo goes. But, uh, yeah, let's get into it. in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yee okay, I don't think I can do a good prospector impression. Uh yeehaw! Towards the prospector. He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. Meals key. All right, so this guy's in the role play, I guess. And let's see, he's gonna deploy these two units. And I know killing the mule does something. I think it gives you a bunch of cards, so we should be able to kill it like instantly. Cause I have the stoat here, and since I sacrificed the uh, adder, the death adder on this guy, he now has a poison ability that insta kills everything. So. Once the mule gets deployed, I should be able to instantly kill it. Now. And we can just go with a little squirrel. Uh, I'm actually not going to deploy anything because wa I've seen the demo and I think he just kills all your cards when you kill the mule, so I'm just going to pass. Yep. Four cards. Cool. Dag nabbit! My mule! Ow, that really hurt. Uh, wait, oh, he didn't do it yet. I swear he... Oh, no, he has two candles. It's when you beat him once, then he destroys all your cards. Oh, I should have played something there. Oh, it's not too late, though. It's fine. What the heck is this thing, though? Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. <laughs> okay, this gun seems pretty good. Um, Fortunately, it won't be that useful here, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Well, I won't allow you to play a card before you draw a new one. Okay. Get another squirrel. We have a lot of squirrels now. Duh, what do we do to kill the coyote? Let's just do a weak little porcupine. Actually, eh? We can put the porcupine here and it'll survive. Then right here, we can put the, um, the skunk. Right? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Alright, so next turn, this guy will have zero power, so this lane will just be full of nothingness. The mole, what's this guy do? Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, so this guy's like a tank, so in my, if my porcupine tries to attack uh, the prospector, the mole will move here and take the hit. Okay. My board is kind of filled up right now. I think I'll take an attack card. Uh, the thing is, you can sacrifice uh, blood units, so I can sacrifice these guys, but I'm not going to yet, so I'm going to pass for now. Oh. Okay, it's not going to look cool. Crap, so it's dead. Uh, so the guy has a wolf out there, right? Yeah. Yep. What do we want to use to kill him? Could sacrifice the skunk. Yeah, draw a card. Stop. <sighs> okay, you're not my dad, bro. Yeah, we can use, we can summon another wolf. This skunk. It, actually, no, we'll leave the skunk there for now. Um. Shit, I made a mistake. Okay, we'll sacrifice the porcupine to get another wolf. He's porcupine's kind of weak anyway, so I'm fine with that. There we go. Oh crap. Oh, I thought the skunk reduced the power each turn, so I thought the coyote would get to zero power eventually. Okay, well, let, 
now I know that. Kinda sucks. It's fine. I think I'll use a... I'm about to lose, but I should survive. Yeah, I'll survive this because the wolf will hit him. And then this coyote will hit me, so I'll still be alive. So I'm actually going to pass. I'm teetering on the brink of death, but it's fine. I see another squirrel to get something going on here. Squirrel! Squirrel! And then we're going to deploy the second wolf in our deck. Right here. Bam! Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay, that's cool. Neat, good for us. Uh. Alright, well, we seem to be dominating right now. And, like I said, he is going to kill these cards uh, when I win, so I'm actually just gonna not deploy anything here. There's gold in these cards! Sorry, that's terrible. I can't do a prospector voice. I'm telling you. Yep, then he murders them and turns them into gold nuggets. G -g -g gold I struck gold! Uh... Guardian. Oh wait, let's, go. let's look at the card first. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. So whenever I place something, this hound dog will like hunt it down, is basically what it's saying. Can I sacrifice these? Wait, let me try something. Okay. Damn. Can I sacrifice these gold nuggets? You can't draw blood from a gold nugget. You'll need something else. Well, that sucks. I'll... Uh, I would play the sparrow, but I want to save it for now. I, I want to save the squirrel, I mean. Get him! Well, at least we have another lane freed up from. Oh no! Dang it! Most of my hand is full of birds! And these birds don't do anything other than attack him and the, like, the prospector. I think I'll have to deploy the uh, river snap for that. It's the best option here. Right? Yeah, probably. Bam. Oh wait, this is... I forgot my river snapper got a power up from the fire in the last episode. Uh, I do not want this bloodhound to move. I want him to die right now, so I will not play anything yet. Oh, okay. Adder. Adder only does one damage. I could just leave it there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna play a raven. Since they are, uh... Raven is pretty good just for attacking the prospector. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, I'm about to win. I think. Might as well just place a little sparrow here for good measure, you know. Oh yeah. I win. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Cool. Got two candles again. Achievement unlocked, Miner's Bane. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay, this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like Pokemon, which star do you want? What's this? Strange larva, a largely unimpressive specimen. Well, it has this fledgling, yeah, so it will turn into something else after a turn, so that seems cool. Child dirt, what the hell? Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Wait. This thing is the se my card bank sits, it's not paired. This thing is like the same as the cat. Because the cat has the same ability, the same health, same blood. So this is basically just the cat card again, but it's 
Is it different somehow? I'm assuming it is. Like, it has potential or something. I don't know. <laughs> what the? The uninspiring geck. Perhaps you can find a use for it. This is interesting. So, this card just doesn't require any blood to play. This card is the cat, but it looks different. And I'm assuming... I don't know. I feel like this card has something special to it. And I don't know what that is. And this card... This is obviously the coolest card. Like, this is going to turn into something. Uh... I don't know. I mean, the Gek is obviously the most boring. But I feel like these cards can, like... Get stronger and they turn to a different card. Or they get, like, new abilities. I'm going to take Child Third... Eh... I don't know. Strange Larva, I feel like... Strange, with Strange Larva, it's like... He has the... He seems like the best one just because of his... Uh, why can't I select the, see their abilities anymore? Am I just dumb? I might have forgotten how to do it. But yeah, Strange Larva transforms him one turn. So he seems like the most obvious one to pick because he has lots of health. He's going to transform into something. So I bet everyone else picks this one. But I have a strong feeling Child 13... There's something, like, special about him later. Because this guy's just a cat right now, basically. So let's pick him. If, and if Child 13 ends up literally just being a cat rescan, whatever. You know, I wasted my pick, I guess. With the sound of the Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards.